uh, Wakalisi, uh, Noah, Natalie Ball. So I'm Modoc and Klamath. We're three tribes under one treaty, the Yahooskin, Modoc, and Klamath, and I'm from two of those tribes. Born and raised in Portland, Oregon, but I just uh, relocated back to my homelands, my territory when I was in my late 20s. But we've always been connected to home, but I wanted to be really intentional about where I raised my babies. And really what really came from it was just creating this like love story then that I started to have with our homelands than my children have now. And it's like the greatest love story I think that we'll ever have in our entire lives. All the narratives inform what the materials are when I'm making new bodies. But I'm pulling from materials that come from community. I'm pulling from materials that I've used in my own life. Anything around, like ready-made, used, appropriated, borrowed, are the types of materials I have in my studio. The intention that I have when using these materials is to use them in a way that is unexpected. When you see it, I think it, it um, hopefully disrupts the ideas you have around what Indian art is, and that's like my whole intention. That's why I'm here, right, is to disrupt, is to change, is to transform if I can at all. It's just to hold a certain kind of space where that's a possibility. And so I want to hold space where people can see their communities and themselves in my work. And it widens how we see what Indian is to better see ourselves. So Climate Land Back Fuckers, well, I was watching uh, Reservation Dogs and I think there was a billboard on one of the scenes that was like Land Back Fuckers or something. And I was like, yeah, yeah it is. Climate Land Back Fuckers and being more specific. So that piece is just pulling from the Land Back movement, but then being more specific on what that looks like at home and for us and like what we're dealing with. I feel like there's um, a static in Indian country, in, in the art world, and it's, it, it's static in the way that we see what Indian is, in my opinion, and I want to complicate and disrupt that and to lodge and maybe another way of seeing what Indian is through my experiences to expand it. So I use disruption to disrupt. It is a disruption. I'm not soft in my practice. I'm, I am aggressive in my practice, even the way I handle the materials and the gestures that I'm using. So it is intentional, but I'm also about care and community as well, but I think that some things need to be disrupted to change. <laughs>